representative of a Provencal town. At the centre lies the church of Notre Dame de Beaulieu, built in the 13th century and surrounded by medieval houses built on circular streets. The imposing reservoir is surrounded by 200-year-old plane trees, dates from 1403 when it was used to power flour mills. The clock tower or belfry, built in the 16th century, a rectangular tower constructed on a stone tower, is being rebuilt. The clock is mechanized and the clock face, dated 1892, replaced the painted face from 1546. We have just stopped the building falling down, becoming a ruin. We are trying to repair it the maximum. The restoration stops there because a stone like that should be changed to have that. That's what gives it its charm. All these imperfections. It's the charm of the place. That's the stone of the region. Yes, yes. What's that? It's lime mortar. Lime mortar. Lime is sand. Three parts sand, one part lime. It's from burnt chalk. The Romans used it. The Romans. The Romans, the Greeks, the Egyptians already used it. It was the oldest binder that was used until the arrival of cement in the 1850s. Because that was when François Vicker introduced cement and it was sold industrially at Portland, England. That's where Portland cement comes from. The lime lets the water breathe, as to say the water goes in and comes out, which is not the case with cement, which makes a waterproof barrier which causes the facades to break down. One never puts a cut stone in cement because the water can't go from one stone to another, and when it is blocked by the joint there will be a damp patch which will start a degradation between one stone and the next. What a team! The blacksmith's work of the clock tower at Coucheron was done in the workshop of Hubert Jourdain, locksmith, companion of honour, and erstwhile provost of the House of Companions of Nîmes, specialists in embossing metal. It is here that the great cross, conceived as a processional cross, and the pennant are restored to their former glory. The globe, pierced in many places by hunter's bullets, leaves the workshop resplendent. The little crosses and pennants are remade completely, and each keeps its naivety and individual character. Thank you. 